Hey guys, welcome back to Automation Elan. In this video, I am going to explain what is unborn branch in Git and what is the risk associated with unborn branch. So in Git, there are two types of branches. One is born branch and another one is unborn branch. Born branch is the branch where we normally work with, we perform commits, etc. And unborn is the branch which does not yet exist which means it doesn't have any commit so let's consider a branch where it doesn't have any commit it has zero commit then that branch will be called unborn branch and as soon as we perform at least one commit then that will be converted from unborn to born branch and we can bring that into existence before we perform any commit the branch will be called unborn branch. Let me explain with the help of example. To explain the concept of unborn branch, here I have created a brand new repository under my account on GitHub. The repo name is demo and you can see here it doesn't have any details, any commit, right? And uh, here we are getting an option like I can use this URL to clone this repository. So let's clone this first, git clone and the URL. Cloning is done and here I'm getting a warning. You appear to have cloned an empty repository. Okay, it's okay. For now, let's ignore this and uh, move to demo. And here I am referring my demo repository and I can see the branch name which is main. But this repository is empty. This is a brand new. It doesn't have any commits, any branch detail, etc. But still I am seeing main over here. And uh, here if I will execute git branch, I will not see the details over here. Ideally we should be getting main but here I am not getting any detail any output while using git branch command and uh, let's try git branch hyphen a here also I am not getting anything let's create one new branch git checkout hyphen b let's say I am creating a branch called feature 1 so branch is created and I switch to feature 1 and here if I will perform git branch still I am not getting any detail ideally I should be getting main and feature 1 both let's give a try with hyphen a and still we are not getting any details the reason why I am not getting any output here when I execute git branch is because this repository is empty it doesn't have any commit right so I am on feature 1 let's execute git log so here for feature 1 I am getting this error that feature 1 doesn't have any commits and you remember initially when we clone this repository we had a main branch let's go and uh, switch to main branch and here we are getting another error main did not match any files known to git it means for this repository there is no branch called main that is the reason we are getting this error so i'll come to this reason why we are getting this error this is the this is the same risk that i have mentioned initially while working with unborn branch coming back to git log so here i'm not getting any log because this branch on demo repository doesn't have any commit and until we perform at least one commit we will not get git log detail until that time this particular branch will be unborn branch i can see the branch name and if i want i can add a file i can work with unless we perform at least one commit to this branch this branch will be called unborn branch and just because at this point of time feature 1 is unborn branch it doesn't have it doesn't exist actually that is the reason when i executed git branch or git branch hyphen a it was not showing any details because 
these feature branches either feature one or main it doesn't exist actually at this point of time and once we perform a commit at least one commit and after this git branch will show us the feature one branch so let me add one file here maybe m1.txt this is unborn branch example and i want to write and quit and uh, git add okay git add m1.txt i can perform commit here adding m1 file and uh, so i performed one commit now and now if i'll do git log then i will see the log detail i am not getting any error saying doesn't have any commit yet so now feature one actually exists it is the born branch because it has commit details and uh, if i will execute git branch i can see feature one and uh, same with hyphen a i can see feature one so this was the concept i have also explained why git branch command does not show branch details and uh, explain the reason with the help of complete workflow git workflow and discuss the core concept related to git branch so you can also refer to this video to understand this concept in more detail with the help of workflow so far we are clear like we had one unborn branch and we performed commit and that branch is converted into born branch and i can see the branch detail over here but you remember initially we had a main branch here and then we created feature one and switch to feature one but what happened to main branch let's give a try so let's try to switch to that main branch check out main so here i am getting an error like main did not match any file known to git as per the git this repository doesn't have any branch with the name called main why so but initially we saw we had main branch right but what happened now where that main is gone and this is the risk that i have mentioned initially that we need to be careful while working with unborn branch so what happens is if you switch to another branch before making the first commit on an unborn branch git will delete the branch entirely initially we had a main branch which was unborn and using main we created feature 1 and we switched to feature 1 branch and we performed commit here but main branch was still unborn branch and as soon as i switch to feature 1 git deleted this branch so just because git will delete your unborn branch as soon as you move to another branch so if there are any changes that you performed you have added or modified any files in unborn branch but you have not made any commit you have not committed those then those changes will also be deleted along with the branch and that is a valid one because if you have added some content into this branch but you have not performed any commit yet and you move to another branch then this branch will still be called unborn because it doesn't have any commit so git will delete the branch and all the content that you have added will also be deleted so it's very important to make at least one commit on a new branch to ensure that it's properly created and tracked by git so this is the risk if you have unborn branch you need to ensure like whatever content that you are adding you should commit it before moving to another branch otherwise that branch will be deleted and you can no longer access that so this was the concept of unborn branch so this is the very basic but core concept that we all need to understand in git i am recommending this again you can watch this video to understand this concept unborn branch concept with the help of complete workflow 
I hope you have learned something new from this video today. Please reach out to me if you have any doubts or any questions. You can subscribe to this channel to learn many other concepts and features. Thank you for running this one. Thank you.